Well, on this Monday, it was very uneventful. We've had some clouds. We had to deal with a cold start, but it was a rain free kickoff to the day. And as we go through the next few days, rain won't be a big issue, but these clouds are really going to help us out tonight. It's already going to be a cold night. As you see, we have this north wind that's ushering in some of that colder air, but the clouds will keep our temperatures warmer than, than they would be if we had a clear sky. But we're going to tap into some really cold air as we head into tomorrow night and then Wednesday morning, but it's going to be cold nonetheless. We do have a few spotty showers kind of trickling towards us, but we're we're not expecting any rain activity, honestly, in our area until the end of the week. High pressure will have control of our weather, but again, for tonight, heading into tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., get ready for some really cold conditions. But as we go through the day, the clouds will give way to somewhat of a sunnier scenario. Temperatures will be unseasonably cool still, though, in the 50s, but I think warmer than what we had for today. Today, we had mid 50s. Tomorrow, expecting highs to reach the upper 50s, close to 60. But again, get ready for some really cold mornings. So again, this morning, we dropped down into the low to mid 30s. We'll have a similar set up as we head towards our Tuesday morning. So we're still within that frost range. So again, make sure that you're uh, practicing cold weather safety and then notice by our Wednesday morning, as mentioned, the clouds that we have overhead now will be gone. So we're going to have a clear sky, calm winds. So we call that maximum radiational cooling. So that's going to allow for a very cold night heading into your Tuesday night, Wednesday morning time frame, expecting widespread 20s out there. But temperatures will bounce back nicely by the afternoon Wednesday as a south wind kicks in. So by a Thursday morning, not as cold, still in the frost range. And then as we head towards the end of the week, get ready for some unseasonably warm conditions or at least back to the average. Uh, but high pressure is going to be a dominant player in our forecast for the next few days. So here's Wednesday afternoon. Again, high pressure still in control. We'll be on the back side of that. That's why our temperatures will bounce into the low 60s by Wednesday afternoon after starting out with the very cold 20s. But then we'll be under a warm front heading into our Thursday. So we're going to expect the temperatures to get become more comfortable but this is going to be out ahead of our next system, which will be an area of low pressure in the cold front. So Thursday evening heading into our Friday morning here 6 a.m. Get ready for some wet weather and we will need every drop of that right now. Early estimates Thursday night through Friday morning show that we could pick up about a half an inch to an inch of rainfall and you see little pops of purple. There could be some spots that may get over an inch, but this is just the first wave. Once we get past that big system, we're going to have unsettled weather throughout the weekend as we'll have waves of energy going by. So we'll have opportunities for collecting more rain Saturday, Sunday, and possibly even into our Monday, which you'll see with the 10-day forecast. As far as temperatures right now, kind of flirting with 40. We have 41 in Meridian, 39 in Philadelphia, same for Butler. And thankfully, the winds aren't very strong, so we're not dealing with much in terms of a wind chill. But lows tonight will fall into the widespread 30s. Again, the clouds are keeping our temperatures from being as cold as they could be. This is cold by itself, but it would be much colder without the clouds. So again, it's going to be around that frost zone as we go through the night. And then heading into tomorrow, after a cold start, the sunshine will allow temperatures to warm up to near 60 degrees. Not too bad there. And hurricane season ends this week on November 30th. Thankfully, everything is quiet in the tropics. So here's a 10 day forecast at 10. It is sponsored by Meridian Mutual. We do have a big week ahead. Toy-thon Thursday, the Black Friday Friday. We have the donation day. Uh, but as you see, we do have rain chances both days. So heading out, make sure you have an umbrella. But yeah, once we get past the cold mornings, we have a wet into the week. Yay. And then as we head into next week, we'll start potentially wet at least early Monday before we dry out uh, as we go through time. <laughs>